Thailand, 122 million years ago. A land covered in braided channels, supporting a wealth of life, including dinosaurs. In a shallow recess is one of many predators that call this wet region home. Fu Wayang Veneta is a species of Megaraptor that can grow up to 6 meters long, though this young male is still growing and only 4.5 meters long. Striding through the knee-deep water on his lean legs, he is built for sprinting and running down fast prey, but the shallow waters are full of potential food, if he can find it. The predator spots a turtle beneath him and plunges his head into the water. He resurfaces with the reptile in his jaws and then grabs it with his hands. Most carnivorous dinosaurs barely use their forearms for anything other than attacking prey, but Fu Wayang Veneta and others of his kind have stronger and more flexible hands and fingers, even with their large claws, and he efficiently swivels the turtle around till its head faces his jaws. The turtle can't tuck his head deep enough into his shell, and the dinosaur is able to feed on the soft parts of the unlucky reptile. A series of splashing gets the Fu Wayang Veneta's attention. With his catch still in hand, he walks out of the water and up the small sandbank, separating the recess from the main river. Upon getting to the top of the sandbank, the predator sees that a school of large fish is being hunted in the river, and are jumping out of the water to avoid whatever is chasing them. As it happens, one of the fish has jumped too far and has gotten stranded on the bank of the river. The fish is two meters long, more than a sizable meal for the young Fu Waiing Veneta, who drops his half-eaten turtle and jogs over to the still flailing fish. Moving to the stranded prey, the Fu Waiing Veneta grabs its head with his claws and pulls it away from the water, not wanting to be too close to the river as the school in the water are still being harassed. No sooner has he started pulling, the predator heard a growl to his side. A Siamo Tyrannus has appeared. Similar in size to the Fu Wayang Veneta, but slightly more heavily built. He also saw the fish get stranded and has come to steal it. The Fu Wayang Veneta hisses and continues to pull the fish away, and so the intruder grabs the fish's tail and tries to rip it from his grasp. A tug of war ensues as each carnival pulls back and forth, refusing to let go and give up such a prize. They were so busy trying to pull the fish away from each other that they didn't see that something was approaching from beneath the river, and it was building up speed. The edge of the river suddenly erupted as water was sent in all directions, and through it came a pair of long jaws filled with conical teeth. Out of the river, a huge Siamosaurus launched himself at the two smaller carnivores. The eight-meter Spinosaur grabbed the body of the fish with the edge of his jaws and pulled backwards. The two hunters that were wrestling with the fish are yanked forward, as they both lost their grip on their prey and crash into the sand at the feet of the Siamosaurus. The crocodile-like predator pulls his head back and with a few short thrusts of his head, swallows the mangled fish whole, letting out a deep rumble of satisfaction. Both the Fu Wayang Veneta and the Siamo Tyrannus get to their feet, but were too stunned to move. That was until a Spinosaur looked down at them and snapped his jaws at them, causing both to turn tail and bolt in opposite directions. The Fu Wayang Veneta didn't look back, but heard the Siamosaurus hiss, and then crash back into the water, disappearing below the surface. Heart still racing, the young male retrieved his half-eaten turtle that he had dropped and went back to feeding. This was the reason he stuck to the shallow pools and avoided the large rivers whenever he could. At least he got something to eat today, and didn't end up getting eaten. Hello fellow travelers and welcome back. Today we will be breaking down a lesser known species of Megaraptor, Fu Wayang Veneta. Fu Wayang Veneta's first remains were found in the Fu Wayang Mountains in Thailand in 1993, but weren't named until 2019. It belonged to the Megaraptoridae family, and is the oldest known member of this family, living in the early Cretaceous between 125 and 120 million years ago. Though the remains we have are mostly incomplete, parallels have been drawn between the closely related Australoveneta from Queensland, Australia, which itself is only partially more complete. It could have reached lengths up to 6 metres long, stood 2 metres tall, and weighed between 400 and 500 kilograms. As said earlier, Fu Wayang Veneta is the oldest member 
of the Megaraptoridae family, along with Fukui Raptor from Japan. These two species have assisted in better understanding the early evolution of the group as a whole, and have helped support the hypothesis that Megaraptors originated in Southeast Asia before spreading over the southern continents. Now the family of Megaraptoridae are not closely related to what you think of when you hear Raptor. Those belong to the Dromaeosaur family. Megaraptoridae are actually a sister group to the Tyrannosauridae family, even if externally they look quite different. Fuwaiing Venator would have been a lightweight, fast-moving predator, but unlike most other theropods, Fuwaiang Venator and its relatives would have mainly used its powerful forearms in catching and killing prey. The fingers of Fuwaiang Venator were fairly well preserved, and a 2023 study looking at the musculature of Megaraptor forearms, this family's large arms had attachment sites for powerful muscles that not only increased strength, but also allowed for better articulation and flexibility of the hands and fingers. So as well as being efficient weapons, they would have also been far more maneuverable and capable of more complex articulation, making them useful for more than just prey capture. However, these features are more pronounced in younger species like Australovenator and Megaraptor itself. So did Fuwaiang Venator have these? The same report detailed that Fuwaiang Venator did not have such strong arm muscles. Most of the strength is concentrated on the first finger and the usually enormous claw that is attached. Fuwaiang Venator lacks the well-developed furrows which are present on the proximal extension of the claw. As the oldest member of the family, it shouldn't be too surprising that it lacked the more extreme tools of its descendants. But the longer fingers and arms of Fuwaiang Venator show that it was using them far more than other theropod species at the time, something later species would continue to develop upon, or more accurately evolve upon. We don't have a skull for Fuwaiang Venator, however it was likely narrow, thin, lightweight, and lined with small serrated teeth. The jaws were not the main weapon, instead it likely grasped prey with its arms and used its claws to pierce and hold them. Once the prey was immobilized and wounded by the large claws, the jaws would be used to restrain it even further, or deliver a finishing bite. The leg bones show that they were very similar to other Megaraptorans, being long and lean, built for reaching high speeds and giving the animal a long stride. Australovenator is often described as being the cheetah of its time, and Fuwaiang Venator may have occupied a similar role in its environment. One of the foot bones from the holotype show that it suffered a green stick fracture. Green stick fractures are fractures to bones that are still young and soft, such as when in adolescence. The fracture also shows signs of healing, though the animal likely had a limp for a long while. The exact cause of the injury is unknown, but it's likely the individual may have kicked its foot into a hard surface like a rock, or may have had a bad fall, resulting in the fracture of its still growing bones. The area that Fu Wang Renata was found in is called the Sao Kuei Formation, a formation that has produced a number of unique species. However, many of them are still either unnamed or not officially described. Some of the species Fu Wang Renata lived alongside include Vayu Raptor, another Megaraptor, Kinera Mimus, an Ornithomimosaur, Fu Wangosaurus, a sauropod, and Siamosaurus, a possibly dubious spinosaur. This formation is relatively understudied, and likely has many more species lying in wait to be discovered. So, Fu Wang Venator, the forerunner of the Megaraptor family that set the stage for things to come as they spread over the southern continents. But what do you think of Fu Wang Venator? And for my question of the week, in terms of hunting, do you think it's better to arm your extremities, like powerful arms and claws, or to simply have a powerful bite force, even if it puts your head at risk? What lesser known dinosaur would you like me to do a breakdown on next? And until then, please like, share, subscribe, and thank you for watching.